It's the bizarre. It's the outrageous. It's the beginning of Cartoon Network's A Night of Independent Animation. Now showing Masterpiece by J.J. Settlemeyer Productions. This film was originally used as an open to the 1995 Asipa East Award Show. It was so good it won its own award in 96. Beware. Beware the horrors you are about to witness. If you shock easily, stay away while you still can. Nothing, nothing can prepare you for the absolute terror of... The Asifa East Animation Festival. You will deny what you see, but you cannot deny that something stinks, something smells, someone has done something terrible in this very theater. Thrilled to the shocking evil of animators from around the world. 90% of all animators are pathetic freaks who get their kicks out of dancing naked in freezing churchyards. Oh yeah, like that. Uh-huh. Shake it on down. Yeah. Bring it on home. And then take it to the store. Yeah. Uh -huh. They've created films for vengeance upon the living. Cartoons brought to life behind the barred doors of crazed animator studios, maniacally craving human viewers. Do you believe cartoons can horrify you to your very soul? Then see the Asifa East Animation Festival. Next on the Night of Independent Animation, another bad day for Philip Jenkins by Mo Willems. Willems is an acclaimed independent animator who makes up for a lack of dialogue with an uncanny sense of comic timing. Saying? Yes, sir. That a company as well endowed as yours should become a part of U.S. Healthcare's Workers' Comp Advantage, or WCA as we like to call it. Why? Well, as you're undoubtedly aware, accidents do happen. Occasionally they do. 
Mac and the Yak Stack went down last week with a bad bag from tacking a yak in a slack pack instead of the crack whack. <laughs> I caught a lot of insurance black for that, Jack. Watch where you jump. You might get caught yourself. If you had been with WCA, we'd have dealt with all that yak flag for you, and you'd have Mac back. Really? When one of your employees is injured, you get that worker immediate treatment. You'd better believe it. Water. See? They're like your own family. Not really. I'm divorced. Oh, I... <laughs> well, when an accident happens, I... Oh. Uh, send the Good injured night, employee... Oh. No, that's all right, that's all right. All right. Here's the name of your doctor. I'll roll him down. ...to okay. one of WCA's uh, network of participating right. trained doctors. Wait, wait for you, okay? Uh, then, what's the matter? Oh, huh? of course, uh -oh. if it's an emergency... Ah! ...to the closest emergency service, uh, then just call WCA. What does WCA do? Everything. We check with his insurance company, his doctor, his hospital, and assign a case manager who honchos the case from then on, making sure he receives appropriate care. Not costly over-treatment, but the right therapist and rehab. And we get him back on the job toot sweet. I like that. Saves my money and their jobs. Would you like to know more about WCA? I certainly would. Come up to my office. By the way, sir, what do you manufacture here? I don't know. I inherited the company from my father. You know, Louie, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. The Night of Independent Animation will be right back! Next on Cartoon Network's A Night of Independent Animation. Once in a lifetime, a story comes along that changes the lives of everyone it touches. This is not that story, but it is by my film by independent animator John Schnall. Hiya. My name's John Schnall. I made the film you're watching right now, and it's my film. Well, I, I had a little help, you know, cameraman, art assistant, stuff like that, but basically it's my film. Mine. I've been making films for 13 years now. Maybe you've seen some of my other films? I Was in Thanksgiving Turkey? Nope. Good Night Norma, Good Night Milton? Nah. Opposing Views? Uh, Unsavory Avery? No way. No? Uh-uh. Oh, well. You probably never saw my films Grimm and Frankenstein either. The uh, film distributors said they're too long and arty and obscure for the mass audience, so they never got distributed. Three years of work down the tubes, just like that. But this film, this, this film's going to be different. Be this film's my, my big commercial breakthrough. No more Mr. Artist living in poverty uh, in this film. I'm selling out. I'll, I'll give you all the surefire crowd pleasers. Suspense, romance, action. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll scream for more. You like short and funny films? I'll give you short and funny. And don't worry, you won't have to think at all. I'll do all the thinking for you. Well, let's get to work. The first thing we need for any animated film is uh, a good t-shirt design. You never make money from the film itself. How's this? No one even sees the film. You like? Hmm? Uh, the marketing's where you make all your... Ah! That's it. Let's go with it. Not just t-shirts. There's posters, hats, notebooks, refrigerator magnets, playing cards, bumper stickers. You name it, we got it. And don't forget the original soundtrack album. Available on CD, cassette, and formats that haven't even been invented yet. Sounds too good to be true, but wait, there's more. This film will change your life. It'll cure bad breath, make you 20 pounds thinner and 20 years younger. Fix your posture, fill in that ball patch, get you dates, make you popular. Remember, these aren't idle promises. They're bona fide misleading claims. So, what are you waiting for? Buy my film. Remember, I can't be a commercial success without your help. Thank you very much. Next on Cartoon Network's A Night of Independent Animation. 
Mr. Mutz by J.J. Settlemire Productions. This film was created to be a public service announcement using the characters from the comic strip Doonesbury. And yes, I did say Mr. Butts. Mr. Butts, the voice of tobacco, goes to Washington. My first subpoena. I'm psyched. Mr. Butts, that's a tobacco industry target, kids. Oh, kids, you gotta love them. I know I do, even though I'm constantly on the go. And why are so many addicted to something that kills 400,000 Americans a year? Gosh, that's negative. What about all we give back? Such as? Well, the shirts, hats, lighters, coming gear, pool tables, tennis tourneys, car races, Order. camel Order. races. Order. Oops, hello, did I say camel races? Order! Next on Cartoon Network's A Night of Independent Animation, So Elmo, listen for the rhythmic beat of his Miami home in this student film by Phil Lord. Too long ago, they lived a certain businessman. He's a hard-working fella and a good asset to his company. At home, he had a, a beautiful wife and child who both adored him greatly. 
At work, he was well liked by all the people in his company. Now, it just so happens that on one particular night, while he was working late in his office, he glanced over to notice a strange wire stretched along the floor. Upon further inspection, he realized that the wire was connected to his back. Finding this a bit peculiar, he decided to follow the wire back to its source. He finally ended up at a strange little room he had never seen before. Once inside, he found that the wire was plugged into an outlet in the corner of the room. Slightly upset by his findings, he unplugged himself immediately from the wall socket. And nobody heard from him ever. Heard his 
wife bleeding. Please, Art, don't leave me yet. I fear the terrible science. You know how I've always hated that. Artie just cracked a little smile. Then she heard him whispering. You know, Emily, them early gates ain't rusty. I can see them, but I don't hear them swing. The snow began to fall as Archie passed away. Drifted to the ground. It did not make a sound. The outrageous, the end of a night of independence.